Okay, I'm Dave, and this is the final video, the final day of filming in our series of how to install an air spool solar powered air conditioner. And the last thing to do is actually have the power from the solar panels come into your outside unit of your air spool. Okay, so we have these four Hanwha Q cell panels. So underneath here, hidden beneath, there are solar wires, boy, girl, okay, that come with every single solar panel you're gonna be able to buy male, female, and so what happens is the male fits of this one fits in the female of this one, the male of this one fits in the female of this one, et cetera, et cetera. And so on the end, you, you end up with a, a power that can be plugged in from the outside unit, which we'll get to momentarily here. And so everything, in this case, this is called a series, series configuration for attaching the solar panel. So in series configurations, you add the voltage up, the current stays the same, but the voltage, in this case, the solar panels these days are around 42 plus or minus volts. So of uh, open circuit voltage. So this is 4, 8, 12, 16, 100, 160, 168 volts or something of solar panels here. And we looked at this disconnect box before. Not only does the ground wire come in here, but in this case, we're running half inch conduit and the solar wires also come in here. So this is handy if you're actually gonna be working on your air spool unit for any purpose and want to turn off the unit. Turn off the solar, I should say. Another way to do it is with this isolator switch here. And if you do it this way, we actually sell these on our website. If you do it this way, you should have this very near your outside unit, which we're gonna look at next. Unit, all the heat from your home or garage or wherever it's expelled out here. So on top of it being 100 degrees out here now, this is probably uh, air coming out here. It's probably 120, 130 or something like this, like that. Okay, um, so the, the power coming in here, there's both alternating current and direct current that comes into this outside unit to power your unit. So it's a hybrid unit. You can, either, you can run it on only alternating current, you can run it on only direct current, or you can run it on both. And when you're running on both, the direct current, which is free from the solar panels, is always prioritized. Okay, so right now, You'll notice that AC input power is 940 watts. Where's the solar? There isn't any solar because this wire right here is not plugged in, okay? So we're gonna plug this in. This is called an MC4 connector. This is the female MC4 connector. This cover is not the, the correct cover. The correct cover is right here that you'll get with your unit. And so you can have uh, your two, your male and female um, MC4 connectors come out of here and then your alternating current power come through here, all right? And so here we go, it's showtime. So here again, it's 940 watts of all alternating current and I'm gonna click this in. This is all you need to do is, is, is uh, click this in right here, just push it. All right, make sure, it's, make sure there's no gap here because if there's a gap, it's probably not connected right. So these clips need to be extended through uh, their port here. If you don't see the clips in here, you didn't push hard enough. All right, so it's getting to be five o'clock here, but this is gonna take a minute. The waiting is the hardest part. Okay, so we see we already have five hundred five hundred and ninety nine watts of solar. Now during the middle of the day we'd have about a thousand watts, but yes, it is quarter to five here in what's getting to be late August, Las Vegas. So we got six hundred watts is coming from solar, two hundred and eighty watts coming from alternating current. And the, this unit again, who, anybody who's watched, I'm sweating on my phone. Anybody who's watched this, these videos in the past knows that this unit is terribly undersized for the space. So it's always set, um, 
theoretically it's always set much cooler than than the space is but it's 91 in the space right now and I don't know why it's 91 maybe because we had it off earlier but it's 91 in the space or because I had the set point at 78 instead of 61 but anyway it's using all the watts it can get from solar and it's using being filled in with 280 watts of alternating current so uh, what happens if we unplug the alternating current you probably want to know well let's go find out so see that yellow plug yonder that plugs into the outside unit we were just looking at and watch me unplug it through the gate here hopefully you can see but it's plugged in I'll unplug it this now is only running off a of PV photovoltaic input so photovoltaic is another way to say solar so it's only running off a of solar nothing off of AC but we still have plenty of heat coming out of here because there's still 639 watts of power right now this unit probably I think we we did the math before to, at this time of day this heat in August with this humidity takes around a thousand watts to run so um, still plenty of heat coming out of here uh, even even with the compressor running at this speed the compressor starts to run at 300 watts of solar okay so and this is what I meant to show before this is the isolator and maybe I did show it before but yes you should install this somewhere outside on your wall is your um, DC uh, solar wires come down from your roof this should be on your wall or somewhere near this outside unit because if you're going to be working on the outside unit you want to be able to turn this off from a convenient location so um, I think that's pretty much it so check out air subscribe to airspool.com for this whole series of how to install an air spool unit it'll also be helpful if you just have a normal mini split or if you're installing solar panels on asphalt shingle roofs and we'll catch up with some other videos soon thank you